In the previous lecture, you have learned how to handle runtime errors. In this one, you will learn how to throw your own errors from your program and handle them. JavaScript gives us the throw keyword using which we can throw our own custom errors. The error itself could be a string message, an object of any type as well. We are going to work on a program which will validate the age of a given person to check if he is eligible to vote or not. If his age is equal to or greater than 18, then he is eligible. If not, we will throw an exception. Create a new file. Copy over the error.html content. Throw is the title. Delete everything in the script block. Add some HTML fields. Input type is equal to text. Give it an ID is equal to age. We are going to ask the end user to enter his age. We gave it an ID so that we can access this field as an object from within our JavaScript later on. Second, a button where the user can click input type is equal to button. On click is the event validate age is the function we are going to write. Close the button type and finally add a paragraph as well. This is where we are going to display the error message dynamically from within our JavaScript. ID is equal to error info. Close the paragraph. Within the script, create the function validate age. This will be called when the user clicks the button. Try. We are going to put everything inside the try block. Try block should have a catch at the end. Catch obj. We will handle it in a second. Within the try block, start coding where x is equal to document dot get element by id. Get the age. We are getting this age here. Dot value will give the value that the user enters into this text field. Once we have it, we can start our validations. If age or if x, you can call this x age as well. If age double equals blank, if the user does not enter anything, then we'll throw an exception within double quotes, a string message. Age cannot be empty else if or we can't do else if if age is less than 18 throw another exception with a message to hang to oat save it as throw.html. So here we are using the throw keyword to throw our own exceptions based on some validations. And in the catch block, whenever there is an exception, the JavaScript engine will take this exception whichever we are throwing and it will pass it into this object to the catch block. So we can access it inside the catch block using obj. Document, I want to write this string whatever we are throwing when it's handled into the paragraph in our HTML. Document dot get element by ID. The ID of the paragraph is error info. Use that dot inner HTML. HTML is capital is equal to OBJ. I'm simply assigning the error message to the paragraph. Save it. Open the throws.html, error handling, throws or throw.html in your web browser. Here is the button. Let's give the button a value. Value is equal to validate. And that will show up on the button. Enter age, say 12. 
click on validate and you see the error message to ang to oat let's leave it as blank click on validate age cannot be empty so our validation is kicking in and it is throwing an exception using the throw keyword we are handling it and we are displaying the error on the web browser inside the paragraph typically in real time applications you will be writing this to log or to the console which i'll show you later on